Hello, this video is on how to calibrate the TCMU2. So what I have here is I've got a vise and I've got a actually another test block and I'm just trying to make a great platform to put my calibration blocks on to do the calibration. Let's power the device on. And it's going to go into test mode as we described before in another video. So I want to leave this. I go down to hit the exit. And now we can scroll through the other menu settings uh, for the device. So I want to go into calibration. I hit the select. You can see there is the little tip about what key to press. And it takes me into calibration. As you can see, we have a number of different fields here in a group. And we've got starting off here is HRC. Brunel, Vickers, and then the user definable. We pre-calibrate the unit for you for HRC, Brunel, and Vickers. Here we've just set up some um, for the user. You can, these are just sort of references to what we think a user might want to have within the limitations of the display is alloy steel, stainless steel, aluminum, only for heat treated or very hard aluminums uh, that would be in the ski, B, sorry, C scale and then for UI, which is user definable. So if you've got some material that is very hard, um, that doesn't fall into one of these other groups, you can actually define your own or even just um, use these ones, but uh, refer to them as a different material type. Okay, so the fact that there are little squares in here means that these have been calibrated. These blank ones means that they have not been calibrated. So I'm gonna do a recalibration just for steel and for HRC. It really applies to any of the other ones as well. So I'm gonna hit the select key here and I wanna edit that. So I'm gonna say edit and it takes me into the calibration screen. This is the most important side for us because it's telling us what the calibration blocks were in terms of hardness that the device is recognizing. We use a minimum of three because the curve for hardness is not a straight line, it's actually a curve. And so we want to have three in here to, so that because it's not a straight linear from the softest to the hardest, that the middle one then will control the flow of that curve and we get very accurate results. So the first thing I want to do is to hit the edit button here and I want to go down to edit, select. And you can see how now my display changed from being solid that just the first character is shown. So I want to change this to my first calibration block, which in my case happens to be 64.31. So I'm going to go over this now, and I can see the first one is 0. I just hit the edit button, and it jumps to the next one, which is already 6. Remember, it's 64.31. Hit the edit button again, and now I'm going to change this to 64. And I'm going to change this to 3. Now, there's no point, even though this block here, I've read off the side of it what the hardness is uh, engraved on the side of the block and written here for reference to the customer can see it easily. Um, these might be uh, transferred across to two decimal places, but it doesn't make any sense. It's impossible to test down to that softness, so I'm just going to um, leave it as 3. Whereas this block here is 23.17, I would make this 23.2. I just round it up. This is a 47.3, and I just leave it at 47.3. Okay, so that's the first one. Hit edit, and it goes fully black again. I'm going to now go down to the next. I could actually calibrate this, because you'll notice that the code value here has gone to zero as soon as I hit that. But I'm going to set these all up first, because I think it's faster to do it this way. Hit the edit key, go to edit, click on it. Zero is correct. Let's look at my block. It's a 47.3. Four is correct, so I hit here. And then I'm going to go up to seven, and I'm going to go down to three. So accept that. Go to the next one. Hit edit. Click edit. Zero is what the first numeral is, and the reason we have three, you might wonder about this, is that with HRC, of course, it's a base 10 value, it only goes up to around 100, but with Brunel and Vickers, we're in a base 100, so we're actually using all three digits, so it could be 675 and 842 and 320, for example, in the Brunel scale, that's why there are three. All right, so hit the edit key again, two is correct, but I've actually got a much softer block here, so it's three hit the edit key, and we're going to round this up to 2. So I'm going to use up to 2, hit edit. 
Now I'm just going to go scroll back to the top because I'm going to start with my hardest block. It really doesn't make any difference so long as you have the correct block uh, on the, your part. So you see I'm sort of somewhat ringing this to the block. Um, what we're trying to do is to make it as homogenous as possible so the device, you know, because these are relatively thin, is um, being seen as one solid block of material or as close to it as possible. So when I do a test here, you'll see that these are all now zero. When I do take my probe and I press down for that two stroke that was de um, defined in the prior um, video, first one is to take up the load in the spring here, and the second one is to take the load up in the probe inside of the device. Again, just going over this because this is so important, is that here is the Vickers diamond. It's sticking out a little bit from the face of the fixed part of its shroud. We want to press hard enough, 12 and a half pounds of force, because there's a spring inside here as well, that this face here will bottom out on the part. Of course, you can't go any further. So it's a two-step process. So I press down. One, two. So it's telling me this first test here, the code is not important. What we're really looking for to see if it changes dramatically. But this code is stored in the device, and in fact, in the probe, um, as a record of what this particular manufacturing was and um, what that code value would be to go ahead and do another check to see anywhere within a range from a little bit greater than 64 right down to a little bit lower than 23. Uh, we can test any material, uh, sorry, any part of the like material. So I do another little here. And I'm watching this code value to see if it changes dramatically, and it hasn't. I want to do a minimum of three or four or five, and that's done. So I take this one off, and let's do it more quickly now. Go to the next one, ring my part to my block, best as I can. Three quick, one, two, three, four. And you see it's a greater number. If I go to the last one now, which is uh, the 23 block. Ring it. Oh, made a mistake. What I had just done there was I forgot to move down. My mistake. So I'm going to go uh, up to uh, edit here and I'm going to delete that one Okay, so I've just deleted that last test, and I'm going to go down to the next one. So I've saved myself having to redo it again. I could hit delete again and delete all of them and redo it, but I've just corrected that. So now I've gone to the softer block, and you can see how the code number is larger, which would make sense. And I'm just moving around. Oh, there was a, quite a jump, but it was because I moved the little puck when I did it, but I'm just wanting to get through this quickly. And that's good enough. So now I've got my tests, I can see my hard to soft, and here the code is reversed, you know, the, the harder the block, the lower the code number. And I hit the back key, and I say save, by using this key again, the tooltip is associated with one of these two keys. And there it is, saving the hardness test back to the device. So if we pull up, say this guy here, ring it to the part, Okay, sit back, and I'm going to go now up to um, measuring, hit select. I'd expect my test to be 64 or thereabouts for this particular block. So let's do a quick check. 63.3. Now, it's, so you can see it's very, very accurate. Now, I had left this device in what was, is smart mode. So it's showing the three, the characters now with the outline um, until I've done three tests, it's going to average and then show me what the average is. I'm just, there's a second, and there's the third, so it's filled it in. So it's telling me it's 63.9. Our block was actually 64.3, so we're well within the tolerance for hardness on the block. So it means we can now take other parts. All right, doesn't make any difference. It doesn't know that what the block is, and it's going to give us the correct reading in terms of hardness. Thank you very much for watching.